Hey, what's going on? This is Mike Garvey Jr. with BrandTheBoss.com and in today's video, I'm going to be going over my YouTube video checklist. So stay right there. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this. If this is your first time on the channel here at Brand the Boss, we like to talk about all things make money online. It's affiliate marketing, digital marketing, network marketing, and it also includes going through checklists like this one. So if this is your thing, please hit the subscribe button. And at any point during this video, please, if you find it valuable, hit the thumbs up. All right, so let's jump into this. So my first step on my checklist is to choose a title with high ranking keywords. So what I mean by that, if you are shooting a video uh, such as this one on a YouTube video checklist or YouTube video optimization steps, whatever, what you're going to do is prior to shooting your video, you want to research the best keywords that get the most searches on a monthly basis so that therefore you have the opportunity to showcase your video to more people, specifically to people that are looking for it. So what you want to do is you want to use the, the Google Keyword Planner to actually do your keyword research and you want to find some, uh, you know, a related keyword that has maybe a few hundred to maybe a thousand or more searches per month. Now, another tool that you can actually use is called Keywords Everywhere, which is a Chrome extension. What it'll do is when you type in any phrase into Google or YouTube search, it'll pop up the monthly search results for that particular keyword or key phrase. Now, it is not exact, but it is based off of Google's keyword um, historical data. So it is about as close as it can be. And you want to make sure that you find keywords that are highly targeted, okay, highly sought after. So that's what you want to use for the title of your video. So let's jump into the next step. So step number two is on this checklist is to make a eye catching thumbnail. Now, what I mean by that is when you upload your video, YouTube is automatically going to select about three different screenshots of your video and use that as a thumbnail. Listen, you're competing against many other people when it comes to your video. So that's not going to be the best um, option to use. What you want to do is you want to actually create a custom thumbnail that catches people's eyes, whether it, it has a relevant image, bright colors, you know, something very nice. And what you can do is actually do a search in YouTube for the specific topic that you're shooting your video on and take a look at the other thumbnails that you see that pop up in the search results. And then try to create something uh, that's similar, but that can potentially stand out more. Now, if you, if you have Photoshop, you can definitely use Photoshop to create your um, thumbnails or you can outsource it to somebody on Fiverr or you can use a free option like canva.com where you can actually use any one of their YouTube templates and kind of customize it and make it your own. Point being, you want to you want to have a thumbnail that stands out. So make a eye-catching, eye-popping custom thumbnail for your video. Let's move to the next step. So step number three, you want to use a call to action overlay in your video that is prompting your viewer to take an actionable step, such as telling them to go to such and such site or to click this link to go to this video, whatever. Either way, you wanna have a call to action that overlays in your video. So not only do you want to verbally say your call to action, such as, hey, click the link in the description to go to so-and-so site, 
you want to have something that also pops up in your video that also is telling them hey click the link in the description to go to this or to get more information that is what an overlay is what you can also do is use um the card function that youtube actually has where you can actually link them to another video on your channel or if you're or a different website if you if you have that um option open in your account where it's a card that'll pop up you know just for a few seconds that'll you know have any title that you want it to have where if they click it it'll take them somewhere else so that's what a call to action is and you want to have an overlay so either use the card function or actually edit in you know whatever program it is that you use to edit your videos create that overlay that's telling them to go to such and such for more info let's go to the next step all right step number four you want to write a very thorough description under your video and sprinkle in several of your related keywords uh, on the topic of your video. So I would say you want to go ahead and do maybe two to three paragraphs um, on the, uh, in your description and then add in a few different related keywords. These are keywords that you should have um, listed out when doing your initial keyword research for your video. So you want to sprinkle in a few related keywords into your description. All right, what this is going to do is going to is going to tell uh, YouTube um, how relevant your video is towards different things related to the subject of your actual video. So it'll overall it'll help your video to rank higher and rank uh, better amongst the competition. All right. Step number five is if you're adding links in your description, particularly if you say are a, a, an affiliate marketer, you know how as affiliate marketers you have that very long URL. Well, what you want to do is you want to shorten that URL because a lot of people don't want to click long URLs because they don't trust them. So you want to use a URL shortener when adding links in your description. So an example of a URL shortener would be tinyurl.com or bit.ly or bit.ly. These are URL shorteners. What they will do is they will take that long affiliate link that you might have and condense it into a very short customized URL that people will most likely click on because they're, they trust those a lot more than just some long 100 character uh, uh, URL. So when you're adding links into your description, be sure to shorten them up with a URL shortener. So step number six on this checklist is to use video tags um, by adding high ranking keywords into your video tag section. What this does is tell YouTube what your video is all about. What are the related things that your video is talking about? Where it should categorize your video. So you want to take some of those high ranking keywords, especially your title as well, and add it into your video tag, which would be below your description area when you're uploading your video. And I believe it is a 500 character uh, limit. So you should be able to add in quite a few of uh, video tags. So take all your related keywords and put them in that section. Another good tip is find the video that's ranking number one for the term that you are looking to rank your video for and use the, vi the uh, video tags that that video is using. So that is something that you can actually do. It's a little hack. Uh, if you're not sure of what video tags to actually enter into your um, under your description area. So let's move to the next tip. All right. Tip number seven or step number seven is to include a transcript in your subtitle or closed caption area. When you're uploading your video, there's a section uh, that's labeled subtitles and closed caption. Um, most people ignore this um, and if you want to take your optimization optimization to the next level, you can go ahead and actually transcribe your video. So what you would want to do is take the audio portion of your video and use a third party service 
to go through that audio and transcribe it into subtitles uh, for closed caption purposes. And then you can take that, um, take, take that uh, transcription and upload it with your video as well so that you have uh, subtitles to also go along with your video. Uh, this is uh, taking it another step and it, it can actually help um, in the ranking process of your video because it it's a way for YouTube to gauge its relevance. So that is something that you can do and you can use, um, there's some third party sites out there. I'll put a link in the description for one and, or you can use Fiverr as well to get that done. But that is something that you would want to consider doing. All right. The eighth tip or the eighth step on this checklist, and this is the last one, is once your video is complete, share it across your social media. Share it on your Facebook, share it on your, your, your Pinterest, share it on Twitter, share it wherever you can to get those extra views and to, and to get the social signals as well because YouTube really likes the social signals. It likes to know that your video is all over the place. OK, and if you happen to share it on social media, chances are you'll get some external views as well, which will help to boost your videos uh, rankings. And before actually sharing, be sure once you're actually filming your video at the end of it or sometime during the video, ask your followers to like it, to comment and to share it so that therefore now you're not only sharing it, but your followers are doing it as well. That is another call to action. So if you found these eight tips or eight steps valuable, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you want more information like this, I'm going to actually put a link in the description to a training source that taught me these things and a whole lot more uh, for building my business. So if you're building your business online and you like this type of training and this type of information, you want to take it a step further, then I'll leave a link in the description for you to click and for you to explore other options as well. Other than that, I'm Mike Garvey with BrandonBoss.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.